weight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25 minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. Or kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the challenger, the Giant. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. and it's going to be interesting and it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Let's go. Let's push, push, push. Try to establish that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, 
Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, man. How many head kicks can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscious? One, normally. <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's going to be sleeping. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Real sneaky body kick. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice kick there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Lee got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. Unable to land with that punch. Powerful leg kick land. Back and forth we go. Slips that left hand. can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Right hand on point. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just missed with the left there. <laughs> Tried with the uppercut there, just missed, or so it appeared. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Oh, another head kick lands. How is this man still standing? Unbelievable toughness, but even better execution on the other side. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. And he landed the right hand there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Another big leg kick land. Oh, no way! Spinning back fist! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, man, head kick lands. Final seconds here of round one. How good is that right hand? Stop. Round two straight ahead. Hey, stop. Remember the combos we worked with the gym. Double jab, cross, hook to the body. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. 
All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous Ready? round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defense. That was a nice fight. Tags him with the left. Straight punch on the counter is good by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Whiffs on that offering. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Throws the right hand there. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Punch over the top. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Trying to establish that jab once again. Right under the elbow, body kick land. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Three minutes now to go in round two. Ooh, what a punch. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Liver kick. Splits the ball, lands the right hand. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Wow. Big punch land. Ooh. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there and Offensively, he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big punch lands. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Big body kick lands. That's a big strike right there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Oh, nice!
what a fight so far. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at the turnover in that kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Lands with the right hand. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Beautiful punch. Pretty good right hand. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice punch lands over the top. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. He is going after that overhand right. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishing. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Blocks the shot. Beautiful body kick. Nice punch land. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Straight right hand now, just misses. Blocks the punch. Ooh, what a head kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real quick leg kick. Just misses there with the left. Got clip with the right hand. 
Nice body kick right on the elbow. Nice. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Waning seconds here of round number three. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's gonna get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Big kick. Checks the leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Kick lands. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Nice strike. What a body kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Big kick lands. Hands higher, hands higher. Nice one, two there. What a punch. It's such a fast leg kick. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just misses with the jab. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Just missing on the uppercut there. All right, time to go to the gas station, TC. These fighters are cooked, my man. They have thrown everything, but the kitchen sink at each other, and it's showing because both of them seem exhausted out there in the middle of the octagon. Back and forth we go! Missed with that attempt. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Straight punch lands. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. 
Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Checks the leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, connects with the one, two. 15 seconds. Yeah, left hook found its target. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep doing All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. It's a good right hand right there. Drop that hook. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Great punch. Back and forth we go here. Big body kick. Lands the right hand. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Head kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Doubling up on the jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice straight right, Lance. Stay in the ready. Recompose. Use your footwork, and let's get focused. Big roundhouse now. Just misses. Right hook to the body. Head kick is blocked. Connects with the right. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Hands up, hands up. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Hands high, hands high. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Punch is blocked. Oh, that's a nice strike. Under two minutes remain in the fight. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Ooh -wee. Ooh wee, what a right hand by this young man. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Dig deep, dig deep. 
He missed with that jab attempt there. Right punches there. Oh, huge block! And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, big left hand there. That one certainly found the target. Let's go. Look for that takedown. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may start to drop the hands to block the uppercut. So look for him to throw something else now up top. Nice kick. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but and new UFC champion of the world you're looking at. Yeah, he's the new champ. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his waist. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 50 45, and 49 46. We play the winner by unanimous decision. And new UFC lightweight champion of See lightweight champion. This is a belt that doesn't always change hands very often. There's a new king at 140.